My name is Amanda Wheeler and I'm the Experiential Learning Supervisor at the Lexington Public Library. Today, we're going to talk about what is STEAM? Here at the Kloiber Foundation STEAM Lab, you'll find science in lots of our programs, including our botany and biology programs. We use technology in our 3D printing programs. You can find engineering in our Lego and other building programs. We love using art for jewelry making and painting programs. And you can't forget about math, which you can find in lots of programs, including coding. We were so excited that we saw so many community members come out for the grand opening and ribbon cutting of the Kloiber Foundation STEAM Lab. Reading is wonderful, but we know that it is just one way that people learn. Hands-on or experiential learning is so important for those with different learning styles. And as we've seen over the past two years, technology is a crucial component in education and life. We recognize the critical role that science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, or STEAM, will play in our community's future, impacting us socially, economically, and especially in our quality of life. The STEAM Lab is an integral part of our mission here at the Lexington Public Library of Lifelong Learning. Um, this space is such a wonderful resource for the community. They're going to be able to come in and use all of the different technologies that are here that they normally wouldn't be able to have access to. We have lots of equipment here for the community to use. We have a CNC machine, which does engraving and woodwork. We have a 3D printer. We have VR goggles. We even have an audio booth um, where people can come do podcasts and all sorts of different recordings. I'm Clarissa Thomas. I'm the Director of Education. So part of our mission and vision and the reason that the education department was started is to help our community members recover from the pandemic and one of those things is learning loss. So we wanted um, a space where we can have targeted um, standard space programming for our students and make sure that we have out of school time programmed so that students can come and not be in a school setting, but still get and continue some skills that they need to be successful. We have been so excited to see the community use the space during the summer. We know that summer learning loss is real, and we are so happy to be able to provide high quality out of school programming for those students to be able to combat that summer slide. We've had so many kids come in and they get frustrated with the task, but they keep at it, we encourage them, and then they're able to figure it out and they have so much excitement when they're able to finally figure out how they're supposed to make this robot work or how they're able to get their 3D print to actually work the way they want it to work. And just their excitement is so contagious and they work really hard on these projects. In addition to our structured programming, we also want this to be a place where tweens and teens can come and just be. We had a couple preparing for their map tests, and they were here um, in the collab lab practicing their four-digit multiplication just on their own. So just a place where teens and tweens can be and feel comfortable. The STEAM Lab has not been around very long, but we've already seen it make amazing differences in people's lives. We've had families come in and tell us how much this resource has been needed in the community, how grateful they are that we're able to provide these services. There have been families come in who said, my child really wants a VR headset. We just can't afford one. We're so happy that they get to come here and have these experiences for free. Our foundation is always looking to try and make 
safe places for children and youth to learn and experience and grow. And a partnership with the public library is exactly the kind of place where we can get that to happen.